Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a puzzle game in Unity. We're going to be making a simple parking order game. First, we need to import two free packages. Then, step by step, we'll shape the gameplay and develop the game. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Okay, let's get started. I started a new project using the URP to take a closer look at every detail. To move forward, we need to bring in two packages, the busier path creature to make paths and follow polytune cars for having four cute cars in the game. Go to Unity Asset Store, type path creature in the search bar and click add to my assets to download it. Then search for tune cars and sort by price from low to high to find the package faster. Once you find it, download it. Keep in mind that the package will be uploaded in a few days in GitHub from now. The tune car package comes with 4 cute cars and the path creature has different scenes to show what it can do. I want to use the follow path scene to create the game's mechanics. Before starting the game, activate this feature which will let you the game start right away. Let's take a brief check of the scene. The game object of the path has the path creature script that gives us the ability to drive path. Also, the car will move on it and cross each waypoint. In the display options, you can customize the handle size or deactivate anchor or control points. To make an object move along a path in a game, the developer provides a script called path follower. This script requires you to specify the path for the object to follow and by end of instruction, you can determine what should happen when it reaches the endpoint. You can choose to make the object move in a loop or move forward and backward. I'd like to make some modification to the script since it already includes code for moving an object. So why don't we just customize it? To get us started, let's remove the current folder game object and path and create a new one. This will allow us to learn how to drive path from scratch. Let's create a new game object and add the path creator component. This will instantly generate a path with two waypoints. In the display options section, uncheck show control points and increase the handle size slightly. You can also manually move each red sphere which represents a waypoint. When you pick a waypoint, you can move it by adjusting its position in the active section. To ensure the car moves in a straight line, always set the y-axis to zero. To visualize the path, shape and orientation, we can utilize the road mesh creator. Simply add it to the path game object and it will generate a mesh from the start waypoint to the end. Remember to activate the flatten surface option and decrease the road width.
improve visibility, it's recommended to change the root color to white. Then switch the control mode from aligned to automatic to ensure a straight path. Finally, make sure that the normals option is set to 90 degrees to prevent unwanted car rotation. To add a new waypoint, hold the shift key and left click on the desired area. The new points may not be perfectly aligned at first. To align them, select each one of the red spheres and go to the selected point section. Set their y-axis to zero. A perfectly aligned road can be achieved with just that. To get a top view of everything, adjust the camera rotation and position. Once that's done, switch the projection option to orthographic and increase the camera size to see hold the road in the game view. If you wish to delete a waypoint, simply hold down the control key and click on the red sphere that you want to remove. To get it started, add a car to the scene and align it with the first waypoint in the path. Then assign a path follower script to the car. Next, add the car path and select the stop option from the end of path instructions. I just want to ensure that the car moves correctly along the path. Once you've completed these steps, you should be able to see the car moving as desired. In the video's beginning, I said I wanted to customize this script. My main goal is to let the user choose a car and move it by touching or clicking. The current code makes the game object move along its path, so I'll move it to a new method. That way, the method will activate whenever a car is picked.
Here the card needs to have a tag and when the player interacts with it by clicking or touching it, it will move along the designated path. What happens in the move the car method? It will set the car position to the waypoint on the path that is distance traveled unit from the beginning of the path. The third line will set the car's rotation to the rotation of the point on the path that is distance traveled units from the beginning of the path. It's time to create a new tag for the car and add a box collider to it. Once you have added the box collider, you will need to refine its size. Let's start the game and see what happens. When you click on the car, it should move along the path smoothly. After reaching the endpoint of a road, the car should return to its initial position with another click. So we need to edit the script again. I prefer to create a new method to handle the click process before doing so. To determine whether the car has reached the endpoint, we need to define a new variable that gets the current waypoint distance as the car moves along the path. I use the get close distance along path method to find the closest point on a path to the car's current position. If the distance value is greater than or equal to the path length, then the car has reached to the endpoint. However, the car can also reverse direction, so I define a reverse variable to change the car's movement. If the reverse variable is invalid, the car move forward, otherwise it will move in reverse. All of these actions can be accomplished by simply clicking or touching. To move the car forward, simply give it a click, and when it reaches the end point, just click again to move it reverse. We reach the end of the video just like the car. In the next video, I'll keep developing the game and share even more helpful tips. If you found this useful, please show your support by subscribing, liking, and leaving your comments down below. And if you want to make my day, don't forget to give me a super thanks click. Stay safe and try this tutorial at home.